<laughs> There's a beautiful side to this, to this notion that everybody has innate well-being. They have perfect well-being inside of them, and it just gets covered over temporarily by our thinking. Right? So if it's already there, you don't have to get it into your kids. They've already got it. And you'll see that with any human being, I don't care who the human being is, when their personal thinking quiets down, you'll see their heart come forward. It's been true with any person I've ever dealt with. And it's good news for parents to find out you have perfect well-being already. You're not damaged goods. Nobody is damaged goods. I don't care how you were parented. I don't care what your upbringing is. I don't care what your personality is. You're a human being who is a thinker. And when your thinking clears, thoughts start coming to you that create positive feeling and new ideas and new thinking and helpful thinking and helpful ideas. It's a very kind way of looking at human beings. It's a very kind way of looking at our kids. So my job as a parent is to recognize the well-being in my kids and to draw it out. In other words, I know that when my kids are really upset, when their head clears, they're going to feel better. And when they are, they're going to be cooperative and helpful and friendly. So I say to my kids, help me set the table. I don't want to set the table. You, it's Nina's turn. Why do I have to do it? Okay. Well, Your you son can't. really talks like that, by the way. That wasn't <laughs> <laughs> You know, you, you catch any human being in a low state, and if they open their mouth, it's going to come out more negative and judgmental and anybody, right? You catch that same person when they're in a good state and people are cooperative and friendly. And so then parenting is a matter of bringing my best to other people to help bring out them. So I became very particular about the feeling that I brought to my kids and to my wife and to my friends. I became much more particular. Like, here's a metaphor, and it's a little graphic, and I'm sorry about this, but it's like when we have colds, we know in terms of physical well-being, it's not a good idea to walk up to somebody and sneeze in their face. Right? You really do the best you can not to sneeze on somebody. Well, psychologically, people sneeze on each other constantly thinking it's justified because of circumstance. Blah! You know? And uh, I've, if you bring negativity to another human being, rarely do they go, oh, thank you. <laughs> <sighs> made made my hey, day. Sir, I, I, I really want to cooperate with you now. <laughs> You've made your point, and it's a great one. <laughs> right? And all of a sudden, you see, I didn't know then. You know, we talked about what do you have to know to minimize the damage. Well, any human being who parents from when they're at their best rather than when they're at their worst ends up being a really good parent, and your kids end up being really good kids, because they learn how to relate to other people that way, too. Like I watch my grandkids, they're learning from being around.